Well, if that nerve stops working, you lose the majority of the muscles of the eye, except for the lateral rectus, and the eye has a tendency to turn out. The superior oblique, which pulls the eye down, parasympathetic fibers that control pupil constriction, they actually run on the outside of the nerve. So if you have a compressing lesion from the outside... Close up, um, and primary, perhaps something wrong with that right eye does not seem to be moving uh, nearly as well as the left. Let's look in all the cardinal directions, and we can see that the right eye has a problem. And it appears to be down, and it appears to be out. So what is this? It's probably a cranial nerve 3 palsy, right, of some sort. So we have a 55-year-old gentleman probably diabetes, a right third nerve palsy with no pupil involvement. So what's our differential? We've already gone through this before. Vasculopathics is by far the most common. We think about diabetes, doesn't have high blood pressure, okay. Tumor, maybe. I mean, the third nerves make me kind of scared. That's a lot of eye movement problems, so maybe. Aneurysm, possibly, but we didn't really have a pupil involvement. So what kind of workup do we do? We probably want to image this gentleman to rule out some type of mass lesion, tumor, aneurysm. And see, scope, we see the following. It looks like perhaps something is going on with that left eye. It looks like it's down and out. It looks like perhaps the pupil is blown. And perhaps even the eyelid itself is drooping down on that left-hand side. So what is this? This is pretty obvious, right? It's a third nerve palsy involving the pupil. 45-year-old gentleman, high blood pressure, headaches, pupil involving third nerve palsy. What's on our differential? Once again, we go through our list. Vasculopathic, he's got high blood pressure. Okay, maybe. Tumor, maybe. Aneurysm, very high chance that pupil is blown. There's always a chance something is compressing that eye. So our learning point here, though, is, as we've already stated, the third nerve is, carries most of the muscles, but the fibers controlling pupil constriction run on the outside. So if you imagine this yellow balloon is the third nerve, if there's a compressive lesion, it tends to push from the outside and you blow a pupil. A blown pupil is always an ominous sign. Most of the eye muscles, and when it's out, the eye turns down and out with a droopy lid. And if the pupil is involved, it could mean an aneurysm pushing on that nerve.